So here's what we're confronted with when we first open up Blender. It's a little bit confusing. It has a lot of different options and checkboxes and things that you as a user probably aren't familiar with. And it can be a little bit intimidating, but what we're going to be doing is breaking this up into little sections and looking at each section. So you'll notice that between a lot of these points here, there are these dark solid lines, right? And these lines separate sections of our Blender uh, interface here. And these different sections are called editors. Each one allows us to do something different in Blender that you wouldn't be able to do in another editor. So we have a few main editors that come up when we first open up Blender. The big one and the most noticeable one is this giant thing right here. And this is called our 3D viewport. Our 3D viewport is what allows us to work in 3D space and to create our 3D models or animations or simulations or whatever we're creating in 3D. So this is the, uh, the editor that we're going to be working in most often in Blender. Down below the 3D viewport, we have the timeline. And a timeline is a tool we use to preview different animations or simulations. So imagine hitting play on a video. This is basically that, except it's measured in frames. So just a little bit different, but really not that different at all. In the upper right, we have the outliner. The outliner lists every single object that we have in our Blender scene and allows us to manage data a little bit more effectively than we would be able to without it. And below our outliner here, we have the properties panel. And the properties panel kind of is the mission control section of Blender. It allows us to edit like information about our 3D objects, render settings, all sorts of super critical information. So this is kind of a go-to when we're tweaking settings. Up top here, we have our information bar, which includes, you know, the file button, the window button, all these different things that you see in almost every single software. Um, and yeah, that is a overall summary of the default Blender interface. You'll also notice that to the left of our 3D viewport, we have this separate menu. And although this menu appears as though it may be a separate editor, it is in fact not. It's part of the 3D viewport, and a lot of different editors have these side menus. In this case, this specific menu is called the tool shelf. So to review, in the center, we have the 3D viewport. To its left, we have one of its menus. Down at the bottom, we have the timeline. In the upper right, we have the outliner. Below that, we have the properties panel, and up top, we have the information bar. This is Blender's default layout, but what if I told you you could actually customize this interface completely? 